Hey, Sneaky Lens back. Another quick one for you tonight. No, we're not on Sabion. This is NHOS, or NHS Buntu, okay? So we've got a bit of a new name. Remember, I've done this a little while ago, okay? I'm going to quick look at it. And I asked quite a few questions, and they gave me quite a few answers, which was really good of them. Thank you very much for doing that. Now, this is the latest release they downloaded, well, uploaded, shall I say, and I've downloaded. It seems a little bit smoother. Okay, so we're going to quickly go for it, even though we've done it before. When it comes as GNOME as default, okay, I've not put in video drivers on this, so I don't know what we're going to get out of it, basically. Although I've had a little play with it, basically. Okay, so it's GNOME, as you can see. What do we get for NHS, basically? Well, the things they really need at the end of the day. This will be used, basically, to replace some of the stuff. And this is the thing I got before when I tested it, okay? I'm not going to report the problem. It's just Plymouth going bang, basically. Once you do that, it stops. So that's one of our first things we need to stop, guys, okay? So Firefox is your browser of choice, by the way. <clears throat> if you go to internet, it's your browser of choice. Pigeon, it's very, really fast at the moment, okay? Which you can put a lot of add-ins if you really wanted to use, uh, say, Skype for Business, for instance. I don't know if the National Health Service uses that or not. Let me know if you work in the service, if this looked like good for you, basically, at the end of the day. Okay. Anyway, NHS Mail is basically evolution because it plugs into the NHS Mail system. I did talk talk about this before, and I said, well, maybe Thunderbird might be a, a better replacement, but they said this actually works a lot better. So as long as it's secure, I don't have a problem with it at the end of the day, so I'll cancel that. Okay. What else? So we do get, so we go to the internet, we get Firefox web browser. Well, of course it's going to be Firefox, isn't it? Okay, while we're waiting for that to boot up. Remember, I'm working in a virtual machine for this one, by the way. It's not full force. No, it's not. So this is, oh, Skype's for, oh, I didn't even realise that would come up, okay? So I'll maximise that. Remember, it's known. I mean, having seen some of the hardware in the NHS system, Maybe a lighter desktop might be a good idea. I see they're working on cinnamon, so that might be okay. Okay. But all about NHS Smell Partners, or Smell, that's really great. NHS Mail Partners, there's some support there. So, you know, Scotland, okay. Maybe maybe they're at the forefront, okay. So if we open another tab up, and we'll go to NHS Ubuntu.org, I think it is. A quick look, and there we are. And this is where you get it from. So, this is the old video they've done. So, you need to do a new one, or you can use some. Of my, I don't mind you using some footage if you don't mind, guys. That's all right for me. But remember, I'm not using the, the NVIDIA drivers for this system. And some of the systems in the NHS are going to be quite a lot older. Okay, okay, so if we go to download, have a look. So, the stable version. It's 64 and 32 bits, so that's good because some of the stuff is really old. We get some nightly builds and some test builds, which I might give a go. There's a dev build of Cinnamon. I was hoping you'd go down to LXD, LXQT, or XFCE, really, for your older machines in the system. That would make it better. This is my opinion, personally. This is nobody else's opinion. That'd be a lot, lot better. And basically, at the end of the day, so if we close down that down. This is for administration mainly. And after I get into the administration stage, we can move on, can't we? Yeah, we can move on. I'll go through some more applications for you. It'll be a real quick video, because there's not going to be much here that's going to be applicable, really, for the national health, really. Graphics, image magic. So you want to display some images, that's fine. The full LibreOffice suite is here. A scanning utility, so you need to have that, of course, because you're going to want to scan stuff. There you go. There's all the LibreOffice stuff. But you also get your contacts and calendar, which you can sync up with Evolution. Okay, so if I go to contacts, I'm not going to open it all up. But if you've got all your address books ready, or you've got on a stick ready to go, it'd be super duper. Remember, this also can be used as a like a little portal. So run from disk only. So little stations that anybody can use, and just put in their details, close it down, and nobody will know where you've been. Okay, under science, just leave Professor Math, of course, sound and video. Well, yeah, maybe you might have to watch a, a medical video. Maybe. Who knows? You're going to need these sort of tools there, aren't you, really? Under sundry, a screen recorder. Oh, sorry, screen reader. So we'll read the text off the screen for you. So maybe you want to translate it from another language. I know we can do that. That's not a problem. I know we can do that. System tools. Most users won't want to use this, okay? They don't need to use it. They just log in as their user, okay? 
So basically, as, as an admin, you do this on the net, really, wouldn't you? At the end of the day, you just do a net install. Or maybe you have to do a hardware install. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Under utilities, well, there's not going to be too much there. It's basically the same. But you've got your PDF viewer. Your disk uses an analyzer. So if I go there, I'll just quickly look. There we go, look. It tells you. Remember, as I said before, we are running in the box. Okay. Let's go a bit more. System monitor. Right, bearing in mind, this is in the box. It's actually not really choking my CPU too much. But it is using a lot of RAM. Now, I know on hardware installs, which I'm going to try tomorrow, actually. I'll just do a quick video of a hardware install. It should use, in theory, in theory, less RAM. This is why I said about having a, a lighter, lighter desktop. And see how we go with that. Okay. Okay. Processors we've got running. Well, not too much, really, is there? They're not using too much. Evolution is using quite a bit, but it would do because that's going to be sort of on all the time, isn't it, really? Yeah, at the end of the day. But I really do appreciate these guys trying this so we can save a bit of money in the health system. Even if we don't use it all over the health system, it'd be good for a lot of people. Okay. So if you want to go and try it, I'll show you where to go. Go and give it a go. You won't have to feed me. It's just a try for you, but I understand what they're trying to do here, and I think it's real good. Yeah, Five star if you can. If you can spare some money for them to develop it, it'd be really good. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't even know any of them, even though they've been down to Bristol, apparently. Okay. I would have gone for little, one of their talks, but... Hey, here we go. Yeah, I know. Sneaky Linux out. I see those. Bye-bye.